I remember the first day on the mats in my movement class. I was embarrassed before we even started moving. I'm a big guy. I didn't think I fit the agile theater major description. I was so insecure. Most days I sat on the mat, discouraged. One day my professor came over to help me. You have a good body, he whispered. That day I pushed through. A few years later, I was cast in a major show at a theater nearby. Dancing was a requirement. Here I was once again, stuck, insecure. One day during rehearsals, I was joking my way through stretch exercises. It was my way of coping with deep insecurity. The choreographer came over to me during the break. She said, I see you moving, and there's nothing wrong with your body. You have a good vessel. Treat it well. I quickly disowned my self-loathing remarks from earlier. Years later, and after losing more than 60 pounds, I still find myself shuffling through excessive ideas about my appearance. If I decide to have something not so healthful on any given day, my brain sees a 20 pound weight gain the very next day. And sometimes when I'm not as intentional, I will gain a few pounds. No matter the actual scale rendering, I see someone much bigger in the mirror. Dysmorphia is real. Men battle these things too, daily, and it sucks. But although it's hard work, we must sacrifice the self-loathing and idolatrous standards of comparison and envy. We must burn them away as often as they come. For we have good, able bodies and strong spirits. And we're learning to honor the entire temple a little bit more each day.